Welcome back. In the previous presentation, I explained CFI component failure impact analysis and how it is related with the service level agreements which are related with the business impact analysis. I also said that I use the three techniques together to give me a robust availability management framework. Having discussed CFI, the next step is the systems outage analysis. So we had constructed a IT service CI value chain. in which we had identified the various CIs that are involved and how the failure of the CI could impact the business. What was the time frame within which the CI or the entire value chain should be recovered, whether the backup procedures existed and whether people have been trained in recovering the backup CI. CFI looks locally, it doesn't look at a global picture. In order to decide as to which CI should be allocated what resource to provide the right kind of backup, we should do a systems outage analysis. In the systems outage analysis, what we do is we consider a particular CI not from the IT service chain for one, but for all the IT service value chains that depend on it. So if I have a switch over here, and my service one depends on the switch, I have a service two, which depends on the switch, I have a service 3 that depends on that, a 4, a 5. So now, I won't just look at the switch as a CI, but I would look at it as a system. And when I say a system, I mean the switch plus the various services that are enabled by this. So this puts the CI into a much broader or a global outlook wherein I can now understand as to how important is this CI to me. If I have these one to five services on it and I know the business impact of each service, let's say for four hours, I would know that if I did not recover this CI within four hours, this would be the total impact on the business because of the lack of availability of this particular CI. That is the reason why I use the CFI and the systems outage analysis in tandem because the CFI would have only given me a local outlook or focus at a single individual service value chain level, whereas the, the systems outage analysis enables me to have a global outlook of all the services that depend on the CI. The third step in this is the FTA or the fault tree analysis. So I'll cover this in the next presentation. Thank you for listening and please be back.